1 Corinthians chapter number 11, verse number 1, will be the scripture this morning. Chapter 11, verse number 1. If you time to find it, chapter number 11, 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. If you have it, say amen. 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 You'll find these words. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Amen? amen. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. And then go to Ephesians 5 and 1. Ephesians 5 and 1. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Ephesians 5 and 1. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Then the actual text is, again, 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Amen? Amen. You may be seated. I want to talk for a few minutes from these few words. And I really need y'all to give me amen because just a few of us in here. Amen. 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 I want the people that's looking at YouTube to know I'm not just preaching to myself. But there are some people in here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We may not be running over, but the Spirit of God is here. Amen. Where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. Amen? Amen. These few words that I've read in the hearing, these two scriptures in particular, deals with being followers of Christ. And I want you to say neighbor. neighbor. Again, neighbor. neighbor. Don't act like me. Just do the right thing. Just do the right thing. Say, oh, neighbor, don't act like me. Don't act like me. Just do the right thing. Just do the right thing. Will that preach? Oh, yes. Come on Better with me. Come on Amen. with me. Amen. Don't act like me. Just do the right thing. Just do the right thing. Amen. And, and Paul made this thing personal. He said, follow me as I follow Christ. And another word for follower could be interpreted as a imitator. And that word imitator can mean many different meanings. And when Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ, he was simply stating the theme of this message. He was simply saying, don't act like me. Don't act like Paul. Amen. But just do the right thing. Yeah. In other words, Paul was letting them know by the way that he didn't want people to clone themselves like him. I think it is said that one of the highest form of flattery is to want to be like somebody else. You know, you hear people in the in the base of basketball profession years ago, they had that slogan out, I want to be like Mike. Yeah. I want to imitate Michael Jordan. Hey, Amen. But if Michael Jordan was standing here today, I'm sure he would tell you he don't want nobody to clone themselves like him. But when you say be an, an imitator, in other words, that can also mean that you take on the characteristics of somebody else. Come on, say amen. amen. It don't simply mean to be like a clone, but you take on some of their good attributes. Amen. Their good characteristics. How many of you remember years ago when I was growing up? Amen. I ain't going to tell my age. Y'all already know it. But when I was growing up, we had... We had action figures like Superman and right. Batman. Y'all remember them? Yeah. Amen. And, and Wonder Woman. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen. And with Iron Man and all those little action figures. And, amen. And, and we wanted to, as children, we, we wanted to be like them. Yeah. We wanted to be faster than a locomotive. Amen. Yeah. We wanted to be able to outrun a single bullet. Yeah. We wanted to be able to fly above skyscrapers. Yeah. And that was our heroes, those were people that we, we wanted to be like, and we wanted to be like them to the extent that we wanted the characteristics that they had. Yeah. They had an honesty and truthfulness and uprightness, and they were characters of integrity. Yeah. Are y'all going to talk to me? 
They were characters of what? Integrity. Amen. And that's what I'm talking about in the message today when I said, don't act like me, but just do the right thing. Amen. And this is what Paul was trying to get over to the people at Corinth. Amen. Some people were saying that they was of Apollos, and some said they was of, of Cephas, and some said that they was of Jesus, and some said that they was of Paul. And Paul wanted to let them know, I don't want y'all to be like me. But I want y'all to be like the Christ that's inside of me. Yeah. In other words, if you are like Jesus, if you are like Jesus, then you're going to do the right thing. Yes. Well, who's that Spike Lee had that movie out called Do the Right Thing? Amen. Amen. And if you got Christ in your life, somebody, yeah. you're going to do the right thing. Yeah. But everybody else is doing the wrong thing, you're going to do the right thing. Yeah. So I'm standing here this morning trying to preach to you all here and those that are about YouTube or wherever this thing is going. I'm not trying to get you all to be like Scotty Mitchell. I'm not trying to get you all to act like I act or to do like I do. But I'm trying to get you to do the right thing by following Christ. Come on, look what Paul said. Paul said this, not like the way Paul put it. He said, follow me as I follow Christ. Now that was Paul letting them know that I may veer off. That was Paul letting them know I may backslide. That was Paul letting them know I may mess up. Yeah. Uh, but if I mess up, don't stop following Christ. If I mess up, you pray for me. But you keep on coming to church. If the preacher mess up, you keep on coming to church. If the demon mess up, you keep on coming to church. If the model of the church mess up, you keep on coming to church. Because it's not about the demon or the preacher or the model, but it's about your walk with God. I don't want you to act like me. But I want you to what? Do the right thing. Paul oh, said, be ye followers of God. Is that right? Amen. Come on, say thank God. Amen. Even as I follow Christ. Yes. And Paul let them know it's not about me, but it's about the Christ that's in me. Yes. As a composer, they would say, I can do all things, all things through Christ that is in me. Amen. And my brothers and sisters, we need to learn to be more like Christ. Amen. Even people in the church, we need to learn to be more like Christ. Amen. We need to learn to be more loving. Yes. We need to learn to be more forgiving. We need to be learned to be more compassionate. We need to learn to be more understanding. Because these were all the attributes that Jesus had. Yes. Even the woman that was caught in the act of adultery, he didn't condemn her. Amen. Come on, help me, y'all. Yes. He said, he that without sin, let him what? Yes. And then when she looked around and saw what nobody there, he said, where are thine accusers? Yes. She said, I have none. He said, neither do I accuse you. Yes. Go in peace and sin no more. Yes. Jesus could have cut her down. Yes. Am I right? Jesus could have cut her down. But she, he saw she was already down. So instead of pushing her down even further, he lifted her up. And that's the way we ought to be as people of God. We shouldn't cut each other down. We ought to lift each other up. Even when we wrong, even when we know we wrong, you're still supposed to be compassionate. Come on, say amen. And people are still supposed to see Christ in your life. It's a blessing. It is a blessing when somebody... And don't know you can see Jesus in you. Yeah. Somebody can say, I see the Lord in you. Yeah. And you ain't speaking in tongues and you ain't carrying no Bible under your arm. Wow. You on your job, you doing your job, but they can see the Christ in your life. And that how many know when you, you got Christ in your life, it singles you out. Yeah. You can be in a room full of people, but when you got Christ in your life, yeah. you can be singled out and say something about that person. Huh? I may can't put my finger on it, but they ain't like all these others. That's the Christ that's in your life. And that's the way I want to live, brothers and sisters, that people can single me out and they can see Christ, not the devil in my life, but Christ in my life. So I'm saying to you this morning, my conclusion, don't act like me. Do the right thing. And doing the right thing is following Christ. Doing the right thing is turning your life over to God. Doing the right thing is living better than you've been living. Amen. Doing the right thing is to stop living for the devil and start living for Jesus. Yeah. Doing the right thing is to do the hardest thing, to do the integrity thing, to do the righteous thing. Yeah. Follow me yeah. as I follow Christ. Yes. We're not trying to make clones over here in New Mount Island. Yeah. Come on, say amen. amen. We're not trying to proselyte nobody, huh? but we're trying to make disciples of men. Huh? We're not even in the business of membership. We're in the business of discipleship. Because yeah. if we was in the business of membership, hey amen, we could have this church running over tomorrow. Amen. All I got to do is start prophesying. Come on, say amen. amen. So I'm going to come up everywhere just to get a word. Yeah. But they won't be disciples. They'll just be members. Right. How do you know when you're a member of something, you can quit when you want and come when you want. Amen. 
you can leave when you want because you just remember. But when you are a disciple, which is a follower of Christ, there's a difference, beloved, between being a member and being a disciple. Clap that hands and praise the Lord. I'm back. Amen. You cut it off. Call me. Hey, 